Hey everybody, welcome back to Cook Serve Delicious. My name is Bear. We've got a good supply of money on hand right now. 3300 bucks. Can certainly use that to afford a couple of upgrades here. In fact, I'm looking at the steak. Looking at the steak, thinking this is probably our best bet. That gets us up to a $15 mini price on that one. I could also afford to upgrade the burger again as well, get up to 12 bucks on that, and I'm probably gonna go ahead and do so. So there we go. Really good upgrades there, getting us some high quality, high price menu selections. I throw the steak on there as the daily special, actually, just to capitalize on that. Had a very interesting day last time as well with the sodas, wines, and beers. Very, very interesting. They are uh, up to 100% buzz now if we throw these on here, though, so that works out. I might, uh, you know, I might replace the wine, though, with the burgers, not the wine, the, uh... Well, you know what? If I'm, if I'm thinking smart here with the, with the buzz in mind, probably want to do some fish. Get the buzz up to 110%, but we did just upgrade the uh, burgers up to $12 mini price. Although I think the fish actually might be more valuable. I think that is the case. But until we can upgrade the wine, it's not necessarily uh, viable to have it on there. So I think I'll have the burgers on here for today. So we've get as, I've got as much buzz as I can possibly get, I think, right now. Uh, I don't think there's another catering event. I just wanted to make sure real fast, okay? So that's good. We got 113% buzz. Active menu is looking pretty solid. We're not doing any kind of bet today, although we should consider getting these things on the menu pretty soon here. Nothing uh, all too fancy. Cook for Love is eventually going to take place, but for now I think it's going to be high time we start off our swan song again. Crane song. Good God. They're not cranes, man. They're swans. I want them to be swans. They're going to be what we want them to be. They should have given me the option of an animal, man. That would have been nice. It would have been really good to at least have a choice of what weird statue thing I want decorating my two-star restaurant. One, two, three, four, one, two. There we are. Gonna do a lot of counting here, man. Oh, God, what have I done? What have I done? I've already sent off an uncooked meal. Shoot. Well, that was a terrible start. I gotta get used to this whole having six menu options thing. Or having six possible patrons at once. These things are gonna cook quick, too. They're gonna overcook quick, more like. Overcook quick! Overcook quickly, Captain, cuz kites can't color correctly. Carnage. <laughs> oh god, anyway. Got a good day. Got a good day afoot. Lots of citrusy uh, steaks today, though, as well. It is on daily special, so I suppose I should expect to see quite a few of these being sold. They are giving us 15 bucks a pop, so I'm totally okay with that. Especially if everybody orders the exact same kind, exact same variety. You would think we didn't just upgrade the damn thing, huh? The entirety of our two-star patrons just want to be boring as hell. Welcome to Bears, Beers, and Fish, and Steak, and such. Where everybody is boring as shit. You're welcome. You're welcome for the for the backhanded compliment. See now I'm making you think, and you're like, but bear! That just seemed like an outright insult. What are you talking about? I'll be like, you see, now you're thinking with beer. And then I'll take a big old swig and you'll wonder why I haven't been arrested for public intoxication yet. That's my uh my eternal mystery, I suppose. As well. All right, yeah, we got a good thing going here, man. I think we're gonna make uh, uh, quite the quite the platter of cash today. Every time I make enough money, I just put it on a big old plate. Actually, got a fifty-dollar prepaid card in the mail today. That was a fun little thing I forgot about. It's like some weird cable company. Sign up for us now, and you'll receive a fifty-dollar prepaid gift card and. Only owe us your soul! What a deal! They sound just that enthused about it as well. I just threw cheese in the Barristobo soup, man. What kind of monster am I? I I just ruined that person's day. Throwing cheese in the Barristobo soup. Unbelievable. Oh god, and then I send that out early. Holy crap, what is going on with me? It's this number six, man. This is throwing me off. My fingers aren't used to- Oh god, yes! That is... That is the problem here. That is what's going wrong. I can't handle- I can't handle six. Apparently. 
is the case. I should probably try to learn how to do so. Otherwise, we are, uh, we are in for some problems here. I can do it. I'm ready. I can tackle this. You know, I used to be good at vegetable soup, too, man. Used to be able to rattle those, thi those things off like nothing. Now it's all just slowed down. My age is catching up to me, I guess. My cooks serve delicious age. It's always going to be in the in the back of my mind. Toying with me. Playing with my emotions, saying, Bear, you never were good enough. And I'll be like, Stop it, age! You don't know! They'll say, Yes, Bear, we do, because we are you! And I'll be like, No, Twilight Zone, oh god! What's happened? You were such a popular show, what happened? Did you lose touch with reality? Ha! Huh? See, because that's what the show's about. Citrusy steak! No, that's not what that's not what Twilight Zone's about. I'm pretty sure that's not what Twilight Zone's about. I've never seen it. I've never seen anything, man. People are like, hey, you seen that? I'll be like, nope! I don't even know you! How'd you get in my house? Because I don't leave my house anymore. I don't, I don't truly understand how anybody could be having a conversation with me. That just doesn't make any goddamn sense. For the purpose of the story, though, I suppose I need to, uh... Incorporate that into reality. There we go. One meat patty on the greens. One meat patty on the greens. That is... That is quite the, uh, the proper dignified statement, isn't it? I think so. The greens there as well. Twelve dollar tip. Holy cow, we're actually getting some good tips. Made over a thousand bucks today, too. These upgrades are starting to pay off a little bit. Gotta be able to get this... Spicy steak a bit quicker. I don't know if that'll ever happen, but damn it if I'm not gonna try. I've got like a miniature system going for it now, but it's not really doing any doing me too many favors. Boom! Do we really need more buzz today? I guess 123 wouldn't hurt. Really want to get another perfect day here, man. We're up to a 42 combo, and I dropped it like three times. That's real surprising. I guess we're gonna start getting a whole bunch of orders these days. I really hope our buzz stays up. That'd be really nice. Make a whole bunch of money here now. Oh, speaking of the devil, holy cow! So many text messages. So little time. Really, so little time. We're actually running out. Yep, there it goes. That's the day. Okay, then. Got a soup at the end of it, too. Holy cow, it's just, it's still going. We are well beyond regular service hours. This is outrageous. Alright. Not bad, not bad, not bad. It is like midnight, man. You're still waiting for this soup. I'll make you wait. That's what you get for wearing a collared shirt in this two-star building. Unbelievable. Sweater vest. 98 orders. 5 average. Yeah. No negative buzz, at least, so that's good. I think our buzz will stay pretty strong here. Alright, 4 out of 20 days, we're on the way. We are on our way. Ooh, Melanie wants to date! Hello, my name is Melanie. I love, love, love burgers! Juicy, delicious hamburgers! If you are serving burgers today, I'd love to stop by and give them a whirl! I hope we can make it happen. Melanie. Melanie. Yeah, I can do that. Burgers. That's not bad. Your catering job is open as well. We got some menu rot though. Woo woo woo! I'm Natisha! 25 years old, and it's always been around parties and shit, and she's an interesting boy, and it's right me back! Nah. We're good. Check out catering options, see what we got. Layered goodness. Lasagnas and burgers. Yeah, we can do that. I am the king of lasagnas and burgers. We're struggling a bit financially, and it turns out I had to choose between getting the asbestos removed from the office or throwing a party. A coin flip later, and here you are! Oh, great. Asbestos-fueled burgers. I'm making these burgers as best as I can! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm real sorry, guys. 
So we're gonna have a bunch of PSCR lasagna. You're not even switching it up on me. This is just gonna be basic bitch stuff. Come on, man. I'm ready for hardcore lasagna. I can make that happen. You don't trust me with your lasagna needs? I'm the king. They call me the lasagna king. I do, at least. In the privacy of my own home. Where no one else has conversations with me. We've been over this! Don't make me talk about it again. Unbelievable. Some people just have no sympathy for a lonely, lonely man. Taking his feelings out. In the vast, open emptiness of the internet. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Besides complain about it to those very same people. Wearing a balloon animal in a very strange fashion, sir. That that's not how that goes. You you gotta fix that, man. It's fucking weird. <laughs> I I, cu I couldn't help myself, man. I couldn't hold my tongue on that one. That is the weird way to wear a balloon. Honestly, you shouldn't ever wear a balloon animal. If you have a balloon animal made, don't wear it. Especially if you're not gonna look happy about it. I mean, come on! At least own that shit! Unbelievable. This party is just full of failures. I'm happy to make your heart-stopping meals, though. Okay, I don't want to kill him. I'm not, I'm not gonna kill you if you're wearing your balloon animal weird. That's not the kind of message I'm trying to send right now. Or is it? No, it's not. Alright, let's see if I can get any of these out here. Get this one. There we go. Okay, 28. That was delicious. $700 for the 28 people we served. Cool! That went pretty well. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so our buzz is kind of suffering today. Oh, wait, Melanie wants burgers and that's on food rot. Crap. That kind of sucks. Oh well. Let's put the fish on the daily special today. We could take off steak and replace that with something else and have 69% buzz. That's probably a good idea, right? There we go. Now we can do our famous lasagna, or we could do wine again. Yeah, or coffee. Nah, that gives us a bonus. We can't put beer on, can we? Damn it. Damn it all to hell. It'd be so wonderful. Oh well. Yeah, that'll do. Can we upgrade the wine? We can. That brings it up to 15 bucks. That's probably a good idea. Wine upgrades are thoroughly worth it because they just add on, uh... Well, the thing about it, too, is they gotta order the more expensive wine in order for us to benefit from that. So it's not an automatic thing, but... Eventually it'll happen. What's the next steak upgrade as well? Up to $20 a plate, wow. Probably want to look into getting that. Alright, perfect amount of buzz. Melanie's gonna get a burger from us today. Let's do it. Here we go. Not gonna have nearly as many orders. We got the fish on the daily special too, so things shouldn't be too difficult. Might even be a perfect day. If we can, uh... Manage not to make too many... Dumb, dumb decisions. Dumb, dumb, dummy decisions. Not using my dumb, dummy head. That's what Wife Taffy always tells me. She'll never know, though. She'll never see this. Never in her life will she see this video. That's just a guarantee. Don't, don't like, tweet it to her or something. That would ruin it. Don't tweet Wife Taffy this video, wink wink. And make her search through 14 minutes of footage. Don't link it to her with a timestamp either. That'd be, that'd be rude. That'd be really rude of you guys to do. <laughs> and now she gets like 25 tweets. Oh, no. No, don't do that. Don't do that. She doesn't need that. She doesn't need that in her life. She's got enough of me saying dumb shit to her to not have to hear it in video form. Oh, man. I love that we've, we've uh, jumped to that degree of self-awareness here, I guess. Isn't that fun? Way to ruin the immersion, Bear Taffy. I know, God. Here we all were thinking we all owned a restaurant. I'm all like, no, this is just a video on the internet. I'm Bear Taffy. I do things. That's how I sound. That's how I talk. You know it. You know it's true. 
Add that lemon on there. Okay. We got this, man. I'm ready for... I'm ready for perfect, uh... Perfect day territory. Haven't been there in a while. Bomga hype, yes! Thank you for the bomga hype, by the way. Finally got some bomga hype down there in the comments. It's beautiful. I saw it. I saw it. All you beautiful folks. And this guy. This stupid hat. He doesn't really have anything to do with anything, but... I wanted to point it out. There we go. Alright, first rush hour complete. Not really too, uh... Too exciting. But we do have our 69% buzz now, which is wonderful. Send that one out, there we go. Yeah, he's actually kind of a clean-cut guy here. See, that's an in that's an intentional goatee. This dude's just like, I don't care. Give me, give me some wine. Give me some wine. I have some wine for my beer. Oh wait, he got the chicken, didn't he? Yeah, he's a chicken guy. My bad. My bad, you're not an alcoholic, you just have bad facial hair. It's really not even that bad. It's, it, it looks pretty deliberate, doesn't it? It's kind of like an older man beard. I can't wait until I can grow an older man beard. I just have like a... a young adult beard right now. It's like the second worst variety. The first worst, of course, being when you're in college and you're growing facial hair because you can. That was me. That was also me. I'm just describing my stages of facial hair progression, honestly. Not a lot of people can grow facial hair at all. I suppose I should be, uh... grateful for that. Hey, it's Melanie! Hey, Melanie, you look super enthused to be here. Glad I can make your day with my... delicious hamburgers. Meat and lettuce, the light delight. Oh, she's trying to impress us. Oh, shit, no! Oh, I sent off the soup too early. I don't know why I hit that button. Oh, there goes our perfect day again. Oh, well. What are you gonna do? God, look, she, she, could she look any more uninterested? <laughs> I don't think it's possible. She she takes the trophy. Pin the blue ribbon upon her chest. She has accomplished the ultimate indifference. Well played, madame. Alright, rush hour number two. Here we go. I'm ready. Bomga again! Mm-hmm. Just all fish today. All fish for the remainder of the day. Can we do that? Make a whole bunch of cash that way. Just the simplest possible form. Be so down with that. So down with that idea. Season it up. Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Now they're starting to listen. Now they're starting to... Oh, God damn it! Vegetable soup. Are you kidding me with this shit? Unbelievable. Azu Marzu Kazumazu. Castle Marzipan. Maybe bring Homestar Runner back, man. Raise your hand if you spent too many hours of your elementary school days watching Homestar Runner. Maybe it wasn't elementary school. That was probably junior high and beyond. I don't know, you might have been ele in elementary school when Homestar Runner was big. Totally possible. Ooh, okay, it's time to text. Romance your partner with the right positive answers. I want to give you muchas smuchas. I don't know what that other one was. Someone broke my car today. Dirty scumbags. Or awesome dudes. One of the two. Alright, I think we won. I think we won the dating game. Oh shit, whoops. <laughs> Did you ask for Thousand Island? Too bad. Har har har. Jerk. Nah, I'm the jerk. I'm the jerk. In this... In this interaction. I can take blame. Despite my... God damn it! Ah, uh, Better Stobo does not have potatoes, Bear. That is just cooking 101, you dumb dumb. You're not using your dumb dummy head. Ah, uh, well. I already screwed this day up way too much. Greens and carrots, okay. Will Bear Taffy ever get a perfect day again? Will he ever use his dumb dummy head? Find out next time in Dragon Ball Cook Serve Delicious. That's what they call it, right? Hey, she's back. For another lonely, disinterested burger. There you go. How fitting. <laughs> Not nearly as many orders today. Made a good amount of money, though. About a thousand bucks, I'll take it. 
Cool. Only one more catering service to check this off. We haven't had a single safety inspection. That's probably coming up. Yep. There we go. A silver ticket for you. Okay. You know that I was a real jerk move last night, and I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I know that stain will come out with a little elbow grease, but that's not the point. I should have known better than that, and I should have asked if you were allergic to dairy products beforehand. But now that I know, I'd love to try to have a go at it again. Call me. Do we just intercept all emails sent through the tower? We must. Huh. We get to put on deodorant and try other scented foods such as hot sauce or vinegar to mask any unwanted odor. Pants keep falling off. Instead of spending money for a belt, try wrapping an extension cord around your waist and plug both ends together for a simple pants keeper rubber. You have to get a pretty specific size of extension cord for that, huh? Alright. Buzz is lowered a little bit, but we'll be, uh, we'll be fixing that up right in a jiff. In the next episode of Cooks Are Delicious. Thanks for watching! I'll see you next time.